the terrifical Billy Sandler. The crowd is on its feet as the ball soars towards him. And it's a super astic save. The crowd goes wild. Yay, yay. If Billy makes this next catch, he'll win the World Series. It's a long fly ball to center field. Billy's moving in for the catch, but it's going, going. Gone? Looking for something? Hey, that's my ball. This? Oh, I was just flying by and it fell into my glove. Where'd you get those wings? Where'd you get that red hair? Hmm. I could make some terrific catches with those wings. You mean terrific catches? Yeah, th that too. So, uh, you play baseball? A little. Okay, go way back and I'll toss it to you. Okay yourself. Give me your best. <laughs> wow, that was trependous. Thanks. But don't you mean tremendous? That too. Is that your best? You asked for it. <laughs> wow, you have a great arm. Takes one to know one. So, can you hit? Try me. You'd better get back. Just hit the ball. Whoa! Fantastical catch. It was a pretty fantastical hit. You know, I'm on a baseball team. We could use another player. Could I play second base? I'll see what I can do. I am the shortstop. Well, that and my mom is the manager. Your mom plays baseball? Sure. My sister and all my brothers are on the team, too. Do they all have wings like you? <laughs> no, there's only one like me. But my brother Seven, his head always falls off. Doesn't that hurt him? Nope. He usually just finds it somewhere. And my brother, too? He's got a nose that's as long as your baseball bat. No way! Hey, tell you what. Why don't you come over to my house and you can meet them all? Uh, that sounds great and all, but I gotta get going. Oh. Hey, are you looking for this? No, I mean, thanks. I gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow, right? See ya. Hey, my name's Billy. I'm one. One what? No, that's my name. Okay, one. Good morning, baseball fans, wherever you are. This is Three, your announcer and play-by-play -play color man. That's right, I said three, as in two plus one, or one plus two for that matter. But I digress. The sun is shining on Monster Field here in Centerville, and I'm sure we're all anticipating some incredible action today. One is looking in top form, although she seems a little distracted. Hey, One, watch where you're swinging that thing. Sorry, Four. I guess my head was somewhere else. My head was somewhere else? Who are you, Seven? Oh. I get it. Thinking about Billy, huh? Who? Billy, Billy, Billy. That kid you haven't stopped talking about all morning. I haven't been talking about him. I just want to make sure we've got enough players. Whatever. Okay, my Wonka Lonkas. The baseball manager I am being for you. That's Mom, the marvelous manager for the monsters. Some call her mother, I call her mom, because quite frankly, she's my mom too. In all of the time I've been telling it like it is, which has been since this morning, I have never seen anyone as good as she. 
let's listen in to what Marvelous Mom has to say. Well, my kinderlings, and Mary! Don't forget Mary, Mother! Soaring to you, Mary, I am. Or my out-of-sight pal, Henry. Again with the soaring, I am Henry. He's kind of quiet. Having with the first baseball game we are on Saturday afternoon. This being only two days from today, we must make with the practicing and listening to your manager, me. Practicing makes perfecting. So, telling you where to be playing, I am. And going, you are there. Well, one. Where's this hotshot baseball Billy you've been going on about? He'll be here. He'll be here. He'll be here. I bet your little Billy dreamboat doesn't show up. He's not my dreamboat. One has a dreamboat and Billy is his name. She loves him at the baseball game. Hit a home run and that'll be great. She'll give him a kiss when he gets to home plate. Cut it out, Four. It's not funny. Four? Baseball we are here for playing. If you want to go about with dancing, you can go to dancing school, yes? What did I do? I was just... Sorry, Mom, but where is this Billy anyway? Billy! Sorry I'm late. I had something to do. Hi, number one. Hi, Billy. This is my mom, our neighbor Mary, her friend Henry, and my brothers and sister. I am two. Three is the name and baseball is the game. Pleased to make your acquaintance, young William. It's just Billy. Hey there, Billy. I'm... Ah, stop it, five! I'm four, and this is my brother, five. I five! I'm six. Don't be shy, although I am very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm always losing my head. That's okay. Nice catch. Really? Okay, my mushkas. Out on the field to your positionings and playing with the ball and the bases. I'm really glad you could be here, Billy. Yeah, me too. I almost thought you weren't going to come. I, uh, well, come on, let's go play some ball. Five, stop chewing your baseball glove and get ready. Two, the young monster out of Centerville has made quite a name for himself. Quite a name indeed. His signature baseball bat-like nose has won him fans from around the globe. Not unlike myself. Let's all watch now as two waits tensely in the batter's box as the pitcher makes his signals to the catcher. Pay attention, Five. The pitcher and catcher always have signals to make sure what pitch to throw. It's their secret. It's a secret. Oh. He'll hit the ball to me. He won't hit the ball to me. He'll hit the ball to me. He won't hit the ball to me. Ready? Yep. You? Yep. I'll give him my fastball. Four. No spitting on the hands. This is a dirty habit being. Aw, oh, Mom. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. He's running, too. You're making the hit. Hmm. I think this glove is ruining my cutie calls. Six. The ball. I've been invited to a ball? <gasps> Cool sliding, to. Safe at first by a nose. Never in all my minutes as a sports announcer have I seen such a unique display of the use of one's nostrils. Uh-oh, here comes four. He may throw a fastball, but he's also been known to throw a quick tantrum. What do you mean he was safe? Well, I don't think Mom meant that I'm a steel box with a combination lock. You were out by a mile. A mile is exactly 5,280 feet. I don't think I just ran a mile for. You know what I mean. Hmm. The ball got to the base before you did. You're out. I'm safe. Out. Safe. Out. Safe. Safe. Out. Fine, we agree. You're out. I'm... 
Hey, wait a minute. No more at the shouting! Everyone should be coming over here now. Oh, goody. Nobody hit anything to me yet. Mm. Oh. I am thinking that needing a lesson in baseball or my little plushkas. Marvelous mom, if I may have permission to field this question. I had you make all my three. The great game of baseball needs to be explained, and only one such as myself could or should be called upon to throw some light or illumination on the subject. Baseball was first invented in the mid-1800s in the good old U.S. of A. Quickly growing in popularity, it has become one of the country's favorite pastimes. Now it's played all over the world. But what type of field, may you ask, is it played on? I was just going to ask that. It's played on a diamond, of course. A diamond? Oh, I love diamonds. Not the kind of diamond you wear on your finger, Six. This diamond is a large, open field. And everybody knows that a diamond has four equal sides. It's like a square, turned on its side. At each of the corners of the diamond is a base. First, second, third, and home plate. Now, in order to play the game, you will need three pieces of essential equipment. A ball, a round or spherical object which is thrown, caught, or hit by a bat. Yikes! A bat! Not that kind of bat. That's better. This bat is a smooth, round stick used to hit the ball. And a leather glove made for catching. So what is the object of this game? Each team wants to get as many runs as they can. A run is made when the batter hits the ball and touches each of the bases. First, second, third, and finally, the home plate. The players with the most runs win the game. But the most important rule of all is to work together as a team. Three is right. We shouldn't be arguing. Yeah, what she said. We should be working as a team. Especially if we're going to beat the South Centerfield Squids at our next game. So, are we a team? Yes! yes. I can't hear you! Yes! yes. <laughs> then let's play ball! <laughs> Oh, dear. I do so hope they don't hit it to me. I'll only drop it, and then they'll all get mad, and I'll wish I'd never gotten out of bed in the morning. I'll try my screwball. Mm. Oh. Did I do that? Oh, dear. Here it comes. Here I go! I got it! Oh! Seven? Didn't you hear me say I got it? Sorry, Two. I wasn't looking where I was going. Well, you know the old saying, keep your eye on the ball. I'm just hoping I don't have to catch it. Now, Seven, you only have to tell yourself I can catch the ball. Come on, say it with me. I can catch the ball. I can catch the ball, I guess. I can catch the ball. I can catch the ball. That's the spirit. Now get out there and catch the ball. <laughs> this is a precarious pickle of a predicament for the Blue Bomber, known as Five. If he gets tagged with that ball by either One or Young William... That's Billy! Five is out. What an incredible display of teamwork. One and Billy are like a well-oiled machine. Ah! Safe by a tongue. One and Billy. Peanut butter and jelly. 
ham and eggs. Two names that may not rhyme, but when something works, who can explain it? All right, my Wonka Lonkas. Now is the time for most important part of training. Dinner time. Hey, why don't you come to my house and I'll show you my baseball card collection. You could stay for dinner, too. Uh, maybe some other time, okay? Oh, okay. Well, see you on Saturday. Bye. What's wrong, one? I get the feeling Billy doesn't like me. I want to be his friend, but he doesn't seem to want to spend time with me except when we play baseball. I know what will make him like you. It's time we gave you a makeover. A what-over? Tell me why you're doing this again. Because Six thinks if I get all fancy, Billy will like me. He's never going to like you. You're a girl and he's a boy. That's like putting ketchup and onions on blueberry pie. Fine, my ketchup and onion on blueberry pie. Just a little work on your hair, a touch of makeup, a new dress, and you'll feel fancy and fantastic and have Billy eating out of your hand. <laughs> ruff, 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 ruff. Look, I've got five eating out of my hand. <laughs> How can I learn all this stuff and be... What did you call it? Fancy. Everybody likes fancy. Like me. <gasps> to be a fancy girl is an easy thing to do. Just remember my song and you'll get through. Girls don't jump or roll in the dirt. Girls wear blouse and pretty little skirt. Girls don't fight or scream and shout. And being pretty is what a girl is all about. But I like running and swinging the bat. You'll never get Billy to like you like that. But shouldn't Billy like me for just being me? Oh, dear one, how can I make you see? If you want to be happy, just do as I do. I'll make Billy like you before I'm through. I'll use some makeup and a few little tricks. You'll be glad you listened to your fancy sister six. You'll be glad you listened to your fancy sister, Six. I'm not so sure about this, Six. Doesn't feel like me. No, of course not. It's the new you. Before, you looked like a $1 bill. Very practical, but not very special. Now you look like $1 million bucks. Are you sure this is the right kind of fancy that'll get Billy to like me? I know I wouldn't like y'all fancy schmancy like that. Well, you don't count. I do too count. Five count two. One, two, three, four, five, six, Not seven. Not that kind of counting. Oh. Hey, where's one? She'll be along. A fancy girl knows how to make an entrance. Oh, oh. Far out, one. Way far out. Here come the squids. Baseball playing you are dressing for, my one-ling? Sure. Why is one all dressed up? Don't ask. And we will not, cannot, should not. Hi, everybody. Hi, Billy. One? Uh, <laughs> hi. So... What do you think? It's, um, nice. You mean nicicle or nicerific? N no, just nice. <whistles> Playing with the ball! Good morning, world. Today is the opening day game of the Centerville Monsters versus the Sunset Squids. And a more perfect day for baseball could not be found if you went looking for it, which we will not. And the first squid batter gets a hit. This should be an easy play for the one to Ooh. Billy combo. <laughs> I, I guess that one got by me. Don't worry, you'll get the next one. I got it! <gasps> With squids at first and second, 
one can hope that this monster ball club can settle down and play the game. Uh. Oh, this isn't working out at all. I got it! I've got it! I've, I've got, got it! it. One, you should have had that. Three runs just scored. Hey, it's only a game. No, four is right. You guys would be better off without me. G2, do you think that the gopher likes baseball? I don't believe it. What is wrong, my beautiful one Ling? Everything. Everything? Well, one thing. All I wanted was for Billy to like me. Oh, and this boy is not liking you for who you are? I don't know, Mom. On the baseball field, he seemed to like me fine. But afterwards... So, dressing up you thought he would be liking. But Six says that girls are supposed to be fancy like Six. For six is okay to be fancy schmancy, but not for one. You are needing to be yourself. Now, listen to your mom. Ever since you were little like babies, six likes some things and one likes some things. My one is with the ball throwing here and there and there and here. But my six is looking only at one thing, and that is six. You were always being one, and six was always being six. I am thinking that being yourself is better, no? You're right, Mom. If Billy doesn't like me the way I am, then that's too bad for him. Something is still bothering my one? I only wish I had my uniform so I could go out and play. Your mom thinks ahead. Well, the monsters are down by three runs, and while this announcer has seen many a come-from-behind victory, unless there is something short of a miracle, I would predict the monsters are going to lose today. Get ready! Here it comes! Jeepers! Good catch! We do make a wonderful team, don't we? Right E-O. Right E-O. Truer words were never spoken, and I should know since I just spoke them. Was it not I, yours truly, who was just wishing for a miracle? And lo and behold, we had a miracle. Hey, gang! Would it be okay if I came back and played? Yeah! yeah! I'm speechless, at a loss for words, silenced, not knowing what to say. It sure is superific that you came back. Really? Yeah, we're down by three and we could use your help. Wow, then let's play some ball! Yeah! 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 The final score, 99 to 99, a tie. Game called on account of dinner time. For the post, as in afterwards, game analysis, let's listen to one and young Will, uh, Billy. So, you still want to play with a team that has me on it? You're kidding, right? You and me are the most fantasticalistic double players in the game. Although, I have to admit, I kind of like you better without all that fancy schmancy stuff. <laughs> me too. Billy, if you really like me, how come you never want to come over to my house and play? Well, I don't usually tell anyone this, but I have ballet lessons every day. You do? That's great! It is? I thought you'd think it was weird or something for a boy to take ballet. No. The only thing I think is weird is when we don't act like ourselves because we're afraid of what somebody else might think. So, maybe someday after ballet class it will be okay for me to come over and play? That'd be super duper terrific. Clearly, all's well that ends well. As a great boxing legend once told me, be yourself 
and the rest comes naturally. Fine line syrup. <laughs> Unhand that microphone. Crazy, man. Crazy. Uh -huh.